Nasheed for me is not an entertainment. It's a way to express myself because I've had my share of entertainment when I was making music. So this is about what I'm going through in my life. Whatever I have learned from the deen of Allah. And this nasheed that I've recited was originally actually written by my teacher, Mr. Babar Chaudhary. He wrote these words for me. And na tera khuda koi aur hai, na mera khuda koi aur hai. That was written by him. And he's not a poet. He doesn't know poetry. He only knows Quran and Hadith. So in the light of Quran, he wrote this menu there for me. Next uh, nasheed, I think I must recite for our little brothers because they patiently listen to my Urdu and Punjabi. So this is going to be an English hamd, but I can always mix, because Salwa, my wife, we wrote this hamd together. And this hamd tells the last 10 years of my life's ups and downs. Because uh, when for 35 years you haven't lived a life in a discipline of theme, then you sometimes you fluctuate. You fall, then you stand up. But for children, they're very lucky because their foundation right from the beginning, if it is on Quran and Hadith, they will not fall and they will go smooth and they'll go up and up. They will grow. But for somebody like me, who's coming from far, is everything okay in the audience? Okay. Um, we wrote this hum together and then I translated it into Urdu. This hum is called Alhamdulillah. So I'm going to recite this especially for my brothers and sisters who do not understand uh, Urdu at all. <clears throat> my respect, my name, all my fortune and all my fame, no more fear, no more pride, I just want you by my side you're a rahman you're a rahim you're al ghafar you're al hakim need your sultan need your burhan give me for khan for my iman alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah, 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 time and again. I make mistakes, you look away. My heart breaks, I am depressed and feeling down. Send me your ship before I drown. You're a Rahman, you're a Rahim, you're Al Ghafar, you're Al Aziz. Need your Sultan. Need your burhan, give me for khan, for my iman. Alhamdulillah, 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 alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. You made me humble when I was proud and in submission to you I bowed. Jukna sikhaya, tu ne mujhe sajde me tere mehu pada. You made me humble when I was proud and in submission to you I bowed. I am so sorry for things I've done. You are my Allah, the only one, Ar-Rahman. 
You're Rahim, You're Al Ghafar, You're Al Wakil. Need your Sultan, need your Burhan. Give me for Khan for my man. Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabb Al Alameen. Malik al Maut, Malik, 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 give me Furkan, open my eyes, Atmim Lana Nurana, Atmim Lana Nurana. If I asked you all to recite with me aloud, because you have learned it by now, Alhamdulillah, would you do that? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. When I was going to school, whenever I sang, the whole neighborhood could hear it. So I know you can sing, you have the voices. So come on, let me hear you all. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So will hamd happen only on this side? Or a sister can also do a hamd. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Together. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I know my heart tells me you can sing louder. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. 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 Thank you. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Let me ask you a question. Did we just sing it? Did we just recite it? Did we just say it? Or do we really mean it? There you go. That's the only difference. The day we realize that it's not me, it's not my ability, it's not my knowledge, it's not my, you know, some stardom, or it's my, you know, special uh, efforts, that day, Allah looks at us that, okay, now you're serious. Because he, he gives food. Unfortunately, we gauge our relationship with Allah on the basis of how much money we have or how comfortable we are. For that, you don't have to be a Muslim. Because he gives it to insects, to cockroaches. To, he gives food to everyone. So we cannot just build that relationship on the basis of one attribute, which is razak. Rab and Razik, he is for all. But if, you, if we want him to become a Rahman for us, because he has these attributes for the people who ask for it, it's a privilege. These attributes you need to ask, Ya Allah, become a Rahman for me. Because when he becomes a Rahman for someone, what happens? What happened 1400 years ago? A Rahman, Allah Mal? Yes. When he sees potential, when he sees, okay, this person, this brother, this sister is really looking for the answers. Ar-Rahman allama al-Quran, khalaq al-insan, wa'allamahu al-bayan. Because he has that ability, he has that sift, he has that attribute, we have to ask for it. Al-Hakim, how many of us ask for wisdom? How to deal with wife? <laughs> the greatest wisdom of all times. I'm sure. How to deal with a husband who never listens to you. That's the universal uh, complaint wherever I go. You, you don't listen to me. I have to repeat 10,000 times. How to deal with that? How to deal with the status issues? How to deal with the pressure in the school? Somebody is bringing, flaunting new iPhone, a child, or coming in a big car, and you're feeling a bit depressed. You're going back to your mom and dad and saying, oh, you know, 
He's got this, he's got that. How do we deal with that? We need wisdom. We need knowledge in the form of wisdom. We need Allah's help, Allah's light, how to deal with situations. So we have to ask Allah, Allah's attributes of Al-Ghaffar. Inni al-Ghaffar liman taba. Yes, Allah says, Inni al-Ghaffar. I am Ghaffar. But there are certain conditions for certain people who liman taba, who take a U-turn. If I wanted to go to Durban and I'm going toward Johannesburg, I keep going to Durban. Will I ever reach Johannesburg? No matter how many times I say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm not going back. So I'll have to do Tawbah. Tawbah means you turn back in repentance. I realized, oh, going in the wrong direction. Take the first exit, take the right road. So Allah says, Inni ghaffar. Surely I am ghaffar. He is speaking in first person. No one else involved. Yes, I am ghaffar. Liman taba. But you'll have to make a U-turn. Wa amana. And you'll have to agree with me. Believe in my word, in my ayats. The path that I'm showing, I'm sharing, you'll have to believe. Amana. Wa amila salihan. And correct your actions. You can't just say I'm sorry and do not correct your actions. Turn. Believe. Agree. Then amila salihan. Correct your actions. Thummahtada. And then get guided. Then you will reach your destination. Because guidance means you reach your destinations. You have gained the solution. You have gained you, you have gained the light how to deal with the situation. That is guidance. So Allah's attributes, we have to ask. Rab Razik, he is for everyone. So that uh, just came out of, because there's so many, mashallah, uh, amazing I, faces I can see uh, who are already in tune with deen of Allah. I can see they're already putting effort. So it keeps coming out of me, whatever I have learned uh, in my life. Um, should I keep going or are we going for a break? You want one more nasheed? Okay, I'm going to recite Anate Rasul Makbul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because I have done two hums. It's time for anath. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back a few years ago when the first album came out. Na tera khuda koi aur hai, na mera khuda koi aur hai. My teacher wrote this anath for me. And this, if you, I mean, uh, especially for those who understand Urdu, jinko Urdu samaj mein aati hai, if you listen to the words, this is this naat is written in the light of how Allah is presenting Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Quran. Why was he sent when he came? What he did is the whole journey, and what we are going to do in the end. The whole journey is in this naat. Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين رب نے سوچا کہ اہل زمین پر کر دے رحمت غموں سے بچا لے توڑ دے بت انسان کے سارے تاکہ شیطان سے اس کو بچا لے تاکہ شیطان سے اس کو بچا لے راہیں بھٹکنے والے سن لا علاقے اجالے دل کا دیا جلالے دل کا دیا جلالے راہیں بھٹکنے والے سن لا علاقے اجالے دل کا دیا جلالے دل کا دیا جلالے You will make me cry too. I can see tears in my wife's eyes. I must have done something right. Let's 
लिख तो दी थी किताब उसने अपनी ताकि दुनिया को से बचा ले फिर भी एक शे की अब भी कमी थी कर दे कुरान को किसके हवाले आल रिपीट दिस वन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट किताब तो अल्लाह के पास पहले दिन से ही नोज एवरीथिंग लेकिन पहुंचाएगा कौन कुरान किसको दिया जाए दस हिस्स सिलेक्शन लिख तो दी थी किताब उसने अपनी ताकि दुनिया को से बचा ले फिर भी एक शे की अब भी कमी थी कर दे कुरान को किसके हवाले कर दे कुरान को किसके हवाले राहे भटकने वाले सुन लाला के उजाले दिल का दिया चला ले दिल का दिया चला ले उसने भेजा अपने नबी को अंधेरों से सबको निकाले ना थी ताकत जमी आसमा की के अमानत को तेरी उठा ले अल्लाह कुरान मजीद में कहते हैं वी प्रेजेंटेड आर मैसेज टू द माउंटेन्स टू द स्काइज टू दे ऑल सेड नो So this is exactly what is being said in this verse. Usne bheja apne nabi ko andheron se sab ko nikale na thi taqat zameen asma ki ke amanat ko teri utha le ke amanat ko teri उठा ले राहे भटकने वाले सुन लाइला के उजाले दिल का दिया चला ले दिल का दिया चला ले फिर मुहम्मद का जब नाम आया जिसने सीने में कुरा उठाया जिसने कुरा को फुरका बनाया बारी तालान तब ये फरमाया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he conceived after the way he conceived the message of quran and when he recited when he conveyed he made quran into furqan because because quran without furqan without the criterion of right and wrong you cannot understand so the attribute of furqan was also given to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was given all the attributes of quran the zikr the furqan the burhan the sultan haq uh, you go on and you know go for there are so many attributes of quran they were all given to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam phir muhammad ka jab naam aaya jisne seene mein quran uthaya jisne quran ko फरमाया बारी ताला ने जब ये फरमाया वह मरसलना का रहमत लमीन वह मरसलना का रहमत लमीन जिसने पहचान रब की करा दी कैसे इंसान उसी को भुला दे दर हकीकत मु 
मुसलमान नहीं वो जो लाइला से मुहम्मद निकाले a lot of people in the world misunderstood the message of allah and they did, did not give prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam khatam an nabiyin the same place which allah has given him till the day of judgment so this verse was written for them that the doors of quran and hadith and doors of allah are open for them open for all anybody can make a u turn ask for forgiveness and come back but how will they do it if we shut doors for others if we started passing judgments and we shut the door without preaching without showing them with our conduct with our dealing with our best of preaching how can we bring them back so there is always prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not give up till the last day he kept preaching he kept preaching to his family members to everyone who ever interacted with him he conveyed the message with the best he had then it's up to allah so this is exactly in the sunnah what you know we are supposed to do today so this verse is for everyone and anyone who does not know the stature of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam jisne pehcha rab ki kara di kaise insaon se ko bhula de dar haqeeqat musalman nahi wo jo la ila se muhammad nikale चुलाइला से मुहम्मद निकाले राहे भटकने वाले सुन लाइला के उजाले दिल का दिया जला ले दिल का दिया जला ले ला तू मा रसूले अमी पर नूरे रिसाल और हक के मुबी पर दूर होगा इसी से अंधेरा फिर जो चाहे तू रहमत लिखा ले फिर जो चाहे तू रहमत लिखा ले राहे भटकने वाले क्यों ना भेजे दुरूद उस नबी पर हरी सुर रहीम पर क्यों ना भेजे दुरूद उस नबी पर हरी सुर पर क्या ये जर्रा कहे शान उसकी जिस पे भेजे सलाम खुद खुदाई क्या ये जर्रा लिखे शान उसकी जिस पे भेजे सलाम खुद खुदाई जिस पे भेजे सलाम खुद खुदाई इन अल्लाह कतु यु सलूनबी या युहल दीना मनु सलू अल व सलिमु तस्लीमा यूहल दीना मनु सलू 